Hey guys, it's Manu and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be making bulletproof coffee and I'm going to show you how I make mine and I'm going to talk a little bit about the benefits. Maybe you've never heard of it, maybe you have but don't really know what the benefits are and a little bit about the history behind it. So most of my days I use the French press method so it's this little thing called the French press I bought this one at Starbucks but you can get it anywhere um, just make sure that if it is something you're gonna use <laughs> every day like like I do just don't get the really cheap ones because they do tend to break down uh, I'm gonna use this coffee I think last blog I told you I didn't like it but I'm still gonna drink it you know <laughs> Um, so what I what I usually do if it's just me drinking it, because um, Carmen, my wife, is out of town. She's in Mexico for for her work. So I do two scoops. What kind of scoop? Well, the French press comes with the scoop, so I just use that measure. But it's about a, a little over two tablespoons. I have boiling water right here. What I'm going to do is add it to the French press. What I do is go about here. I don't know. Whatever that that is. Like three quarters of the way. Because um, I don't like my coffee that strong. And then I'm going to let it sit for four minutes before pressing it. So it's been about four minutes. And all I do is just press down the French press. When you buy coffee and you want it ground, you can just ask for your coffee beans to be um, grounded for French press. And at most coffee shops, they'll do it no problem. So now I'm gonna show you how I drink my butter, uh, my bulletproof coffee, butter being the first um, ingredient. If you are in a place where you can get grass-fed butter, that's awesome. Here in Colombia, we have the advantage of most cows being naturally grass-fed. So, so we have that going on. So that's a tablespoon of butter. It usually calls for MCT oil, which I don't have. I've never been able to buy good quality MCT oil in Colombia. So what I do use is coconut oil. Um, which has MCT oils. Uh, it translates to medium triglyceride chains uh, and MCT and coconut oil has those uh, chains. This one is organic, extra virgin. Um, you can buy this in Colombia. Um, it's not that inexpensive but it lasts a while. Usually with organic coconut oil um, if it's not super refined, this is pure, unrefined, cold press, which is what we want. It's going to taste like coconut, so just, just have that in mind. I do like coconut taste, so I don't have a problem with that. So I'm just going to add a tablespoon of coconut oil. There we go. With about that, you can get it done, but I do add a few more things. You don't have to, especially if you don't tolerate um, dairy that well. I add heavy whipping cream, about a tablespoon. There we go. You're saying, Manuela, you're not measuring anything. I make this almost every day and I have for years. But if you're not sure of the quantities, please use measuring spoons. That's going to help you a lot. If you see, I'm adding all of the fats at the bottom of the bowl because I want the hot coffee to melt them. And that's going to help a lot. I'm just going to add a sprinkle of salt and some cinnamon. And now I'm just going to add the hot coffee over those fats. I like to leave at least like half an inch because um, I'm going to show you how I mix it. So first I just take a spoon, kind of mix it around a little bit and I do let it sit about 30 seconds because I want the, the hot coffee to melt the fats as much as it can. Love is a road that goes both ways. When your tears roll. 
And now I use one of these guys. It's a milk frother and it helps emulsify the fat with the coffee. If not, it's gonna look like it does right now, really gross and separated. If you wanna use a blender, please do. It's actually gonna come out a lot creamier. I just don't like washing my big blender every day and I don't have one of those individual uh, Nutribullets. That's it, now let's go have a taste and talk about why I drink it and why you should. So here we have the Bulletproof Coffee. I just... If you've, if you've never had it and you're doing keto, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. This is gonna aid your weight loss, this is gonna keep your energy high, this is gonna give you mental clarity. Actually, a lot of people that don't do the keto diet do drink Bulletproof Coffee because of its benefits. It is said that the origin of this drink um, comes like way back from Nepal, uh, Tibet. They, they drink, it's called I think yak tea, butter yak tea. Um, yak, I think that's how you say it. Um, so they mix um, tea with butter from yaks. Uh, and that's been going on for centuries now. If you saw a movie with Brad Pitt like Seven Years in Tibet or something, I don't remember the name of it in, in English, but they offer him yak tea and he refuses it. Anyway, it is said that the founder and owner of this company called Bulletproof Coffee was actually inspired to create this um, fat beverage from, from the butter yak tea. So, so that's going on. That's been going on for a while now in the keto world. But if you, I don't know, I like nerding out sometimes a little bit. It has been said um, that Ethiopian nomadic tribes hunters used to mix um, coffee beans even before coffee was was ground and made into a drink. Used to mix the coffee beans with animal fat. And they would uh, like nibble on that, eat that during long hunts, and that would give them prolonged energy. Because that is what bulletproof coffee is going to give you, and that is prolonged energy. Um, it's not it's not a low calorie treat. If you saw what I added, butter, coconut oil, heavy cream, that those are all things that are very energy dense. Uh, so so that's one thing to take into account. Even though Bulletproof Coffee, it's gonna aid in your weight loss because it's gonna keep you fuller. It's gonna actually help promote more ketones in your body. Um, if you drink this with like a stack of pancakes or some carb heavy food, it's actually, it's actually gonna do the opposite. Because when our body has excess carbohydrates, what it does is it stores them into fat. And if you're eating a bunch of carbs and then you add a butter coffee to that mix, well, that's even more fat that the body's just gonna, gonna store because of the carbs and especially if they're like super processed carbs, your insulin's gonna spike and all your body is going to do is store that as fat. So it helps also with mental clarity. Why? Because of the MCT profiles in the in the fat we use. Like I showed you, I don't have MCT oil. Um, I hope I can get it soon. I think I'm going um, this Easter week, so second week of April, to the States, to New Jersey, to visit my sister and my aunt and uncle with Carmen. We're super excited. Um, I'll let you know more details if that, if that does happen. Um, but maybe uh, once I'm in the States that I haven't been in like over two years, I'll be able to buy good quality MCT oil. Um, also, if you do use a brand and would like to recommend me trying it, please leave a comment below. Um, anyway, so the butter and the coconut oil do have those MCT chains. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn this off. Um, so, so that's gonna help with, with brain function. This is gonna make you feel full for hours. The energy boost it gives you is amazing. And productivity wise, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you drinking this um, to start your, your days. Maybe if you're just drinking it uh, for productivity, try to drink it Monday through Friday and take a break Saturday and Sunday. That way your body 
doesn't get used to it as much and then when you do drink it again on Monday that we all know can be a little bit tough sometimes um, it's gonna be it's it's gonna have a more powerful effect a lot of people usually ask me if the bulletproof coffee replaces a meal if you can have it with your first meal listen it's up to you. I, I hate uh, responding with like such big terms, but it really is up to you. Most days I drink it just a few minutes before my first meal of the day. Other days like today or days when I know I might have an earlier lunch and don't want to have my first meal. Uh, I'll just have one of these and it's going to keep me full and full of energy uh, for hours and that's fine. Um, and it also depends on your calories. So listen, bulletproof coffees are great, but depending on how you make it, just a cup of bulletproof coffee can have up to 400 calories. So if you're drinking two of these bad boys in a day, that's 800 calories. I don't know what your daily calories are, but mine are around 1600. Um, still in a little deficit. Um, I might pump it up if I start like lifting heavy. I might like up my calories so I have more more energy. Um, but I usually just drink one of these a, a day. And then some days where I don't want to drink all of my fats, I'll do only butter or only coconut oil. So that's how I that's how I keep track of my fats. Because also when you're starting keto, I know it can be a little challenging and frustrating uh, how you don't know how to get the fats in. It's relatively easy to control those carbs, keep them under 20. Protein usually go way up high and then the fats just, just you can't reach them. Uh, this is a good way to start your day because you can get a lot of fat macros in uh, before you even start. What I usually do, you saw the amount of coffee I make um, kind of usually makes it all the way up here when it's both of us drinking it. I'll, I'll like sip of it on, on it like half of it and then I'll just refill it um, so I can so I can drink it again. At least for me, I can't really drink coffee past 3 p.m. or it's gonna be like a shit show. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. Um, I won't be able to sleep. So I like to just drink it in the morning or like around noon, which is when I do my, my first meal. If you don't like coffee, the good thing is you can do this mixed with almost anything. Um, butter chai tea is awesome. Um, you can do it with matcha even, you can do it with, anyway, like pretty much any hot drink works really, really well. Um, last November, 2019, we, we're fortunate enough to go to Japan for for a vacation, which was it's been like a dream for years. So so we felt we feel very fortunate that we were able to go. And something that amazed me was that Family Mart, which is um, it's like Seven Eleven, but but a different brand. They have their own butter coffee, and they actually make it with grass fed butter and MCT oil. So that's super cool. I I had those. Uh, they were delicious. I'll see if I can find a clip and put it right here. Uh, maybe I don't because, uh, not that you care, but one of my memory cards just died. I don't know. If you can see it, it usually has like a little thing right here where you can pop it up and down. Um, and it's no longer there. So I don't know how to get into this information. <laughs> Zero keto related. Uh, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking one-on-one -on -one about bulletproof coffee my experience with it maybe i wasn't clear i love it it's been amazing uh it's brought only good things to my life i would just say keep track of those calories because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what diet you're doing if you want to lose weight you do have to be in a calorie deficit that's all i've read that's what the people that i trust have researched uh, so if you want to lose weight, maybe just keep to one of these a day or, or control those, those calories in some other ways. If you guys are new to this channel, thank you for watching all the way here. I would love it if you would subscribe. So just hit that notification. No, wait, is it here or here? Anyway, where it says subscribe, I would really appreciate it if, we, if you would subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I post a new video. My main YouTube channel, it's actually in Spanish. It's been going on for almost a year now uh, where I have hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you do speak Spanish um, or know someone that does, please subscribe. 
uh, it would be awesome to have you there as well. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment what your thoughts are on Bulletproof Coffee. Have you tried it before? Do you know what it is? I would love to hear from you. Uh, I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye!